Hey friends, so I'm here to meet my sister for a quick uh, brunch because uh, we haven't seen each other in a bit, so we're catching up. I'm at the Taba Eco Village, so pretty. Oh my God, what do you even mean, bro? Uh, but yeah, let me go. Talk to you when I see her. Okay. Hi friends. Hey everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm not quite sure where this vlog is going to be starting, but I found myself here in here in this room. I'm in this room quite a lot. I read in here. I record content in here. I do quite a bit in this room. I just don't feature myself a lot in my vlogs sitting in here. Um, but today I wanted to fill up my TBR jar again because I have officially made time to do more prompts, like lots of them. So I'm going to do that in the meantime while I have a chat with you guys about what I'm going to read next. Um, if you watch the previous vlog, you'll know that I finished The Housemaid and A Good Lie by The Housemaid by Frida McFadden and A Good Lie by A.R. Torre or A.R. Torre and it was just absolutely, they were so good, they were so good but because I've been reading quite a lot of heavy, dark kind of content lately I do want to just switch it up and actually read romance now Now I don't I don't typically read romance a lot of the time. I don't, but I do enjoy it. When I do read it or when I want to, you know, just read something a little bit more lighthearted, more fluffy, I, I, I'll typically go for romance. So, um, the first one I want to read is this one, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to start it and finish it today uh, if when I'm in bed because it is so short. It's got less than 100 pages. Or I can start reading it now, actually. Uh, it's got about 76 pages. So this is a novella by Frederick Bachman. And he is the author behind Anxious People, which I am reading, but not reading. It's a really, really... I have a weird dynamic with that uh, book. But that's not the only book I've read by him. I read another one. I read another one and I loved it so much. Um, but this one is, and every morning the way home gets longer and longer. This is a novella about a little boy who sits on a bench. The whole story is this moment that a little boy sits on a bench with his grandfather and his grandfather, they have a chat. And the grandfather is, current, is struggling from dementia, if I'm not mistaken. So it's very, very tug on the heartstrings, very, very emotional. I've heard from a lot of people that I'm going to cry reading this. So uh, I do want to cry. I do want to have a little bit of a cry because I, I haven't had one from a book in a while. <laughs> from a book in a while. I, at the very least, cry 
every two or three days that's just that's just me man that's just my life i'm just constantly crying about something i'm crying about watching a k-drama i'm crying when i'm reading a book i'm crying because i'm happy or I'm, it's so weird but i cry a lot diesel can tell you guys i cry a lot okay but really i can't wait to read this one i think i'm actually going to start reading it this afternoon I'm pretty sure I'm going to start reading it this afternoon. I just have gotten back from work. Um, and tomorrow I have... Um, yo, I've got work and then I've also got quite a few uh, coaching sessions. If you are new here and you didn't know, I am a life coach. Um, registered and accredited. And um, I coach uh, specifically life coaching for mental health or self-development um struggles life transitions that kind of thing so i took on three more clients last week and tomorrow's going to be a very heavy day of coaching but um ugh, i find it so fulfilling it's one of the the best parts of my life currently uh i enjoy it so so much anyway but um if ever you needed any coaching information from me i do uh online coaching virtual face to face virtual or telephonic coaching and we've got special rates for students if you're a scholar and you're like oh, i can't i can't afford you girl no girl i got you i've got special rates for scholars as well so if you're keen or interested in wanting to know more about that or get into or get a life coach or any of that kind of information just check in the description box below and you'll get all my contact information there and you can reach out to me via email Anyway, so the next book that I want to look at shortly after I finish uh, and every morning the way home gets longer and longer is When in Rome. Now, I've heard wonderful, wonderful things about this book. So many people love this book. And I think Charity also read it, if I'm not mistaken. She read it as well. And I think she, she liked it as well. I think Vuvu read it as well. I'm not quite sure. But I've heard really, really good things in terms of the romance here and that... It's pretty solid. I don't know much about the storyline. I don't want to know much about the storyline, but uh, I'm gonna take it with me. My TBR jar is nonsense, <laughs> but I haven't had the time to actually go into an, a craft store or Westpac, because I know Westpac has got great jars and things where I can you know, have a nice TBR jar at a reasonable price, but when I do get the time, I will. So I did more prompts here where uh, I just need a little bit more variety as opposed to just these ones that I have here. And I'll read out some of them to you. Um, this one says, has love in the title. <laughs> I can really tell you right now, I don't think I have anything that has love in the title. <laughs> um, a poetry book, which I definitely... Do, I've got some things from Billy Chapata. I've got love letters from great men. Uh, Rupi Kaur, I don't think I'll read anything of hers quite currently. But there are quite a few uh, poetry books. A book that has made you cry. So I'm pretty sure I might pick up this one. <laughs> but anyway, a classic romance, which I think I might have that's my classic section so i've already read giovanni's room which i do think is a little bit of a romance but i don't have a classic romance run with it um so outside of that something new again recently that has been happening is i have been back on intermittent fasting uh but i i I started with the 18.6 and I realized that 18.6 is pretty much easily doable for me because I normally did 16.8 and I, and I did that every day. It became a part of my life, right? But now I am on 24. Um, so I'm fasting for 20 hours each day and I have a four hour eating window. Sometimes I go a little longer. Sometimes I'll go 21 hours. Some days, especially over the weekend, I I will actually break it quite. <laughs> Not every weekend, but I will break it slightly and um, 
yeah i won't do the full 20 hours or 22 hours i'll do maybe 17 hours because hey i'm going out i'm eating late but so far it's okay it's rather challenging i'm not going to lie i'm not gonna lie it's rather challenging but what i've noticed is that it has definitely taken down my um caloric deficit like i do not eat as much in a day i literally just eat maybe twice and that's it so i'm quite happy with that um sometimes i'll eat once and that's it in a window of four hours how much can you really eat you know you can eat once and then snack on something a fruit or what have you um sometimes i just eat at night when i get home but i'm, I'm actually really enjoying the challenge it is not easy to be fasting for 20 hours in a day it really isn't that's why i keep to it religiously during the week where i will finish eating dinner at around 6 6 30 and then i'll only eat the next day at whatever time it is you calculate that i don't know <laughs> um but outside of that i'm really liking the challenge and what else is new as a little bit of a catch-up Oh man, I went out over the weekend with uh, Trina and it was lovely. Last week, Friday, we went out, we ended up spending the whole entire afternoon together, which was so much fun. You know when you meet up with women who have the same goals, mindset as you, you know, you, you want to grow in life, you want to mature, you want to become a better person for yourself, for your health, for your mind, all of that. And... Um, Kina is one of those women, you know, who, who applaud, um, empower other women as well. And I love that about her. I think she's fantastic at that. So, um, yeah. So I went out with her over on Friday afternoon and got back home, I think, around 9. And then on Saturday and Sunday, I literally just kept to myself, kept home. Um, I had a couple of things that I needed to do over the weekend. But outside of that, I was just chilling and relaxing at home. And I really, really did enjoy it. Here we go. So we've got a lot more prompts in here, which is great. For now, I will use this really pop <laughs> um, jar. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So to have these options is also nice. Um, but for now, I think I'm pretty much going to read, hang out. Uh, I'm drinking my ginger and lemon water. I did eat something when I got home. I literally had like two slices of toast with some coffee. And uh, I'm now probably going to have like a fruit or something. I might actually just read this. I might get into reading this and unwinding for the afternoon. And then we'll look at whatever it is that we're going to do together later. Okay, if not later, tomorrow. As you guys know, I always record my weekly vlogs throughout over those number of days. So I don't force myself to record a lot of content in one day. I'll just squeeze in what I can. Um, but outside of that, yeah, I'm going to go take a little bit of a rest now. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Okay.
it is night time i am currently oops sorry sweetie i'm currently reading my latest book which is wayward by amelia hart and this is my i think this is my 30th book for the year um I just want to have a little bit of a chat with you guys about this week's vlog. Okay, I, I don't even know what you've already seen or what's, 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 I don't even talk. I don't know what you've already seen, but I can guarantee that, oh, it's my 33rd book for the year. So, um... Before I get into the feels and everything, I just started reading this one today. I got this as a uh, ARC copy from Jonathan Ball Publishers. So it doesn't necessarily look like this. Um, I will show you a picture of how the retail sale version one looks. So this is how you would find it in the bookstore. Uh, but so far, it's great. Seems quite easy to understand. I think it's a little bit of a thriller. It is quite triggering for me in some instances because in this book we follow um, three generations of the wayward women and we follow Kate and Alva and Violet who I'm not quite sure if they're sisters or they're descendants of one another. I think, I think they're descendants. Um, but what's kind of a, a seeming goal threat that is happening with these women is that um, there's a lot of triggering subjects, especially if you've been exposed to abuse, physical abuse, manipulation um, by partners, by family members. Um, there's an air of that in this and I'm only 57 pages in so really I haven't read much. I started listening to it this morning on my way to work and I really do enjoy it. So far I find it quite atmospheric. So we follow these women at different time spans. Kate is the more the one who's the more recent um, and then a number of decades before is Violet and then a number of decades before that is Alva, who I'm not quite sure if it's Violet's mom. I'm not quite sure, but they're all descendants of the wayward family. They are the wayward women. And um, so with Kate, we, we see how she's in this really tumultuous relationship with a man by the name of Simon. And it's really bad. There's quite a few scenes of abuse and things like that. So um, I... I got a little bit triggered by that um, but I do still want to continue reading it I am enjoying it for the most part um, there's just some difficult scenes to read um, but it's it's still kind of laying the foundation there really isn't much that I have come across except that uh, with the uh, eldest uh, wayward sister daughter or um, Elva, you can see that um, there is some sort of history within the wayward family of the women being seen or known to be witches. Um, so there's an element of fantasy as well. There is a huge connect with the women and their, their, their connection to nature and animals and so on and so forth. But right now it's still kind of all over the place. So I can't really get a, a feel for describing it articulately. Um, we're just really following the lives of all these three women and getting to know them at different time spans. So it's it's set in three different time periods. Um, so, so far I'm, I'm, I'm reading that and trying to relax. Today was a very long day at work and then I came back and I had three coaching sessions to do. Um, my day kind of finished off at around 6.30ish. And outside of that, um, I haven't really filmed much for this particular vlog. I think I may have taken clips here and there of me being out and about and that kind of thing. So there'll be a lot of um, montages and there'll be a lot of, um, you know, clips with music here and there, which, which is fine. 
Um, but I haven't been feeling well. I've actually been really, really ill. I started getting what's today? Today's Tuesday. About a week ago, last week, about a week ago. <laughs> last week, Wednesday, I started getting really ill. Um, started getting very bad tummy cramps and not like cramps like that time of the month cramp but really bad stomach cramps um bad abdominal cramps on my back uh, just everything was going to crap last week and it felt like my body was just caving in on me and i know that i've been burying myself in work lately with with content with my nine to five with um just everything that i haven't i i hardly ever give myself time to rest and that's a conversation for another day i do this with myself all the time i'm really someone who struggles to be idle i find that i function better when i'm productive but then it always gets to this point where my body then starts to kind of give way and kind of uh, show me that mm -mm, you need to stop. So I started getting sick with these cramps and I could not for the life of me sleep at night. I couldn't sleep on the one side, then I would need to turn and sleep on the other side. And then at some point I felt like there was a hole in my tummy. I really can't explain it. But I was trying to explain it to my doctor yesterday. So I went to the doctors um, yesterday when I got to work. I just couldn't do it anymore. I booked an appointment with my doctor. I went to the doctor. I explained everything. Um, you know, at some point, Lucia and I laughed about it over the weekend when I was at her place. Um, and she was like, are you pregnant? And I'm like, no. If there's one thing that I know for a fact is that I'm not pregnant. So I actually don't freaking know what's going on with me. Um, only find we got uh, I got a couple of tests done, so I'm waiting for test results, which is just again making me a little bit anxious. But I also got some antibiotics, um, did some other tests, which I got instantaneously, and basically what i am currently aware of until my um other tests come back is that i have an infection so that's that's all i'm gonna want to share about that infection for now and uh, uh so because of that i've really just been feeling down in the dumps i i don't want to eat i don't want to do anything much less switch the camera on um so i I'm basically coming on here to let you guys know that this probably might be a really short vlog and it genuinely is because of the fact that I'm not feeling well and I sometimes you just need to um, give yourself some grace sometimes you just need to give yourself that moment to be like you know what I, I can't do it this time around I just I need a break and I need not to switch my camera on for a while so rather than continue vlogging tomorrow and all of this i think i'm going to give myself a couple of days and probably start vlogging for next week's vlog um on friday on friday or saturday somewhere there uh but i think this one is going to end here so this this vlog might not even be 20 minutes long if it's longer than that well hey ho yeah then I've clearly got a lot more footage than I thought I did. Um, but for the most part, this this is not this is not the vlog, guys. It really isn't the vlog. I I just need to listen to my body for a little bit. I really am tired. Um, it's so exhausting because it makes me just so emotional. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. If I'm not at work, I'm coaching. If I'm not coaching, um, recording content, editing content, um, I'm really tired. I'm really tired and I feel overwhelmed. And I think it's also that time of the year, right? It's also that time of the year when a lot of us are starting to feel the, the, the fatigue that settles in, um, you know, 
in the last quarter of the year and all of that. So I'm, I'm currently in that space. Um, I remember on Sunday, I wanted to uh, step out with Diesel. He had said, no, let's, let's go out, have brunch, and then, you know, watch a movie, watch The Equalizer. And I was so excited because I love The Equalizer, because I love Denzel Washington. I could barely get out of the car on Sunday. I was in so much pain. Like, it was... And my pain tolerance, my pain threshold is actually quite high. Um, so for me to actually say that I'm in pain... Uh, then I'm really, really in pain. And to top it off, I think the antibiotics that I'm on are really making my body feel very itchy and filled with a lot of discomfort. I'm just really not comfortable right now. I'm not comfortable. I don't feel the greatest. I do still have a little bit of a slicing pain in my abdomen area right now. And um, yeah, so rather than force my way through this vlog and and keep trying to get content in and this that and the other i'm gonna put together with that with 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 birth i'm gonna put together what i do have um with a little of me little bit of music and all of that uh in the back have montages and and things um but i think this is the time where i just need to take care of myself a little bit um, I need to read, unwind, um, go to work, come back from work and actually do nothing. I haven't done that in a while. I'm always coming back from work and editing, coming back from work, da, da, da. So, uh, yeah, I think my body's just at that point where it's just like, mm -mm. I really do appreciate the consistent support. I really, 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 um, thank you for consistently supporting me if there's certain content that you would like to see on my channel please do let me know what it is that you'd like to see i know you guys love the segments the unpopular opinions and all of that and i really would appreciate that um you continue to like the videos because i can see the like ratio going up um so you guys remember to like the videos and i really do want to thank you for that um, also, there's the membership space as well. So if you're keen on becoming a member, you can join the join button uh, below this, what you're seeing right now. That really also helps me out a lot. Um, that little 40 bucks really does go a long way. I think I did talk about how I really be, I make peanuts on YouTube and I just I stick around because I really enjoy it and I enjoy the relationship that i've cultivated with a lot of you guys that i know by name and i know that you guys often come at me for mentioning some of y'all's names in my unpopular opinions or my more funnier videos like bolerato libodipu libosbusis or um you know so i do know so many of you chantel ebony Zbongile. like i know a lot of you um from responding to you and i really do appreciate you guys so so much um yeah so i think this is where i'm gonna wrap up this vlog and uh yeah pray for me i'm really really not feeling the best um but yeah i should be back on form i should be back on form but for now i think i do need to listen to my body and that's exactly what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna end this vlog here I'm going to continue reading my book and then I'm going to turn for the night because I've got work tomorrow. Girl. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon or in the next one. Until then, sayonara.